Hi guys, Xelia here with a boss guide for the Moonlit Butterfly. You find this boss towards the end of the Darkroot Garden. There's a bonfire hidden behind a wall on the way, so make sure you rest here first before attempting this boss. For this fight, I use the Crest Shield, and I'll leave a link in the description for a video on how to get that. Moving on to the fight, the Moonlit Butterfly has four attacks. A splinter attack, a homing attack, a beam attack, and an explosive attack. All of these attacks can be blocked or evaded, and they are all magic damage. The splinter attack is the weakest of the attacks. I recommend blocking it, but it can sometimes be avoided with some good positioning, as you will see in this video. The homing attack does a bit of damage, but it won't kill you. I recommend evading it. To evade this homing attack, just roll through it as it comes towards you, it's very slow, so the timing shouldn't be an issue. The beam attack is the strongest attack, and it's slightly more difficult to evade. I don't recommend blocking it. To evade it, position yourself in front of the butterfly and wait until the beam is very close to roll through it. If you get hit, don't worry, there should be enough time to pop an Estus. The explosive attack occurs sometimes when the butterfly flies over your head. Just lock on and keep your shield up. The butterfly will eventually fly down so you can hit it. When it does, I recommend holding your weapon in two hands and just going nuts. When the butterfly starts to glow, just move away. He will cause an explosion of magic damage. The Crest Shield is awesome for this fight, but with a bit of Estus, any shield will do. Because the damage is pure magic, Poise isn't going to help you, so Heavy Armor is not a good idea. That's about it for this boss fight. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, throw us a like. If it didn't, leave me a message in the comments and I'll try to help you out there. Once again, this has been Exalia. Mates.